Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to Terraria Overhaul. So this is actually part 5 of an unofficial series I've been working on for about half a year now. I started off by making just a singular video and then a couple of weeks later I wanted to make a follow up and then a follow up and here we are. So we're actually at the very end of the game and I wanted to make sure I had a complete set. So just to fill you in in case you haven't managed to watch the first four parts because it's a little bit confusing. We have, in fact, taken down every single boss that I need to take down to get to this point and actually feel comfortable in what I'm about to do. So, in the last episode, I tried to take on Duke Fish Run in Lost, and I feel like I'm actually going to save that fight for a little later today because I'm not very good at Duke Fish Run, so doing it with my current gear would probably end in a loss. So, what I'm going to do in today's episode is actually do the Lunatic Cultist. I am going to do... All of these pillars and then I will end off with the Moon Lord which should be really cool because I've never actually done the Moon Lord in Terraria Overhaul and one of the ways I prepared is actually making a big giant arena like this and it's gonna be my goal to take it down not using any kind of special equipment just being able to actually dodge and use my momentum to my advantage and I'm very excited for that so if you didn't get to watch the other parts I do in fact have uh, the Alchemist NPC mod. This is what I use on Chippy's Couch pretty much in every series. It makes filming and doing episodes so much easier because you can simply just buy the potions that you need to buy. And what I'm doing now is I'm just getting all stocked up for the Lunatic Cultist who has been waiting for me for a while. We're currently rocking a Ranger setup using Shroom My Armor, which is completely new to me. I've never done a series with Shroom My Armor before. And I am pretty excited to see if we can actually do this first try because overhaul is really difficult and getting used to it when you've taken a little bit of a break can be really troublesome and I think I'm good to go there. So I am like completely unsure how this is going to go but I feel like it's going to be alright. There we go. It's ready to begin. We're buffing up. We're getting ready. i tell you what I could have done with more health. Wait, wait, what's going on? Can I not do you, lunatic cultist? Are you gone? I'm really unsure what's happening here. Oh my god, that is such a trek downwards. Okay, let's see if it works this time. I reset my game and waited for them to spawn back in. Right, let's see if I can just anger them. Get angry. Yes? Do you have to kill them both? Come on, come on, oh no, I literally can't do anything, what do I do? Hmm, it's all bugged out. I might have to go and get a mod to spawn in the lunatic cultist because I can't go any further. Oh no. Alright, I'm going to try it with mods. So, I believe what you're meant to do, alright, I don't know what that is. You're meant to click on this mob spawner, click on boss. And it might just spawn straight in. Alright, I clicked it. Okay. Are you here? I think you are. I'm ready to fight. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder what caused it. It's probably because I've been, like, using this world on and off for so long. Like, it's literally been half a year. And I've probably uh, messed it up at some point. Okay, this is going well. It's very loud for me. And, uh, and I think that's because it's a very loud gun. Right, I'm wondering if I actually activated the right one. Oh, it didn't, because <laughs> there's a dragon. Great. You you homing shots are meant to keep me grounded. Okay, okay. Just being careful, being careful. It's the reloading that really takes its toll on the character when you're using this setup. Come on, Phantom Dragon, get out of here. Okay, there's four of them up there. Ah, and I've got another dragon now because I didn't get it the first time. Okay. Oh god, my character's screaming and I'm on kind of like on fire almost. Let's sort out that dragon. Come on. Here we go. Alright, now I can actually start focusing on this part of the fight. I will say it's a lot more difficult because the movement is so weird. That one? Oh, no, it was that one down below. And we have another dragon. Can you leave me alone, dragons? This is not Goblet of Fire. I am fine not fighting a dragon. If I just keep firing, though, it should continue doing damage. 
Okay, okay. I really like that it shows you the fake ones on the mini- well, It shows you the fake ones on the minimap while it's doing this attack. I think that's really cool. This is going to go on forever. I can just sense it now. This is taking forever. <laughs> and like, I'm like almost losing every time. Oh my god. Okay, keep it chill, dragon. Keep it chill. I don't think I've ever had a lunatic cultist fight where I've had to fight just so many dragons. Alright, it's that one. There you go. No more dragons this time. It's just me and you. Okay. This is going so well. I'm getting close to the end. Well, close-ish. If I don't have to keep dealing with dragons, I'm doing alright. Alright, let's reload. That's one thing. You've got to make sure that you've got some ammo for when it does the duplicate thing. Okay, it's that one. Shoot. Yes. Yes. I just need a little bit more health. So let's heal up. There we go. Oh my god. I think we might do this. I actually do. So long as I don't get another dragon, I think we're good. And there we go. My world should now be overrun with these guys. Awesome. So I'm going to go quickly turn off this mod though because I don't want to be doing uh, a bunch of stuff with a hero mod on. Everyone will think I'm a cheat. <laughs> Actually, let's slap, them, uh, let's slap this down first. No special item just for doing it though, unfortunately, but that's alright. I'm kind of used to getting like special items because I play so many mods. Slap that down. There we go. This is a complete first to me, by the way. Like, in the many years since Terraria 1.3 has been out now, what's it, like, three and a half years since it came out? I've never done the Moon Lord with Vortex anything. So, I am pretty pumped to do this, and I feel like I'm going to do it fine. And with this shotgun, especially because it's homing, it's really good. But the only problem is, is it's so slow, and you could definitely get overrun when you're doing these events. So, I'm just going to have to, like, make sure that I actually dodge some stuff. It's quite cool, actually, because they've got shotguns, too. So it kind of seems like a pretty equal matching, to be honest. i just got to avoid them. They've got to avoid me. Yeah, this actually wasn't too bad. It was kind of even matching. I haven't died, but I am getting ridiculously close now. That always seems to be the case, doesn't it? Like, when you've done the towers, it always seems to get, like, worse towards the end. Do you guys ever notice that? Maybe it's just me. Right. We are cutting it dangerously close to dying. I'm going to have to, like, either grab some health or back off a little bit. I don't know. So with my Vortex Fragments, I'm going to make some new weapons. Now, I'm pretty sure you get a gun and a bow. I'm going to make the gun first, and I'm going to see how good it is. So it's the Vortex Beater. It's pretty cool. Do you want a fun fact about this gun? It used to be called the Black... It was called, like, the Blackout Beater or something like that. Or... Oh my god. I, I, here I am listing a fun fact and I can't even remember it. Oh, it was called the Black Hole Beater. That was it. It was called the Black Hole Beater. That's what it was in the beta anyway. Or at least in the, uh, the spoilers for the beta. Oh. Now this I like. This has been unchanged pretty much. Yeah, okay. I can appreciate that. So I've got to do all of the other pillars now. So I'm going to need to get even more potions... And even more stuff. But what I'm going to do is, essentially just for the rest of them now, I'm just going to like hyper cut my way through them. Because I don't actually need to uh, to show them because I'm not going to be making anything from those classes. Maybe I'll make a summoner's weapon. I'm not too sure. But other than that, I should be uh, good to go. Yeah, so I'm going to make a dragon staff. Because that seems really cool. And I haven't made one in a very long time. So if I click this, and then that again, it gets a little bit longer, right? And a little bit more powerful. Is that how it works? Well, anyway, I've got a dragon. So this is the final pillar. We're at that point. My goal now is to not die and actually be able to, like, go heal up at a nurse or whatever and continue onwards. God, I tell you what, these pillars, like, are an absolute tank when it comes to, like, being shot by a gun. I swear to you, look. This has gone on for way too long. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, I am ready to fight Moon Lord for the very first time in Terraria Overhaul. That is so sick. Okay, impending doom approaches. Hell yeah, it does. Right. Let's... Well, we're all zoomed in. We're going to go heal up at a nurse. We are going to get fully ready. Hello, nurse. What's your name? Your name is Kayla. Thank you, Kayla. Appreciate you. Right, the goal is to get now onto the track. So I will do this super zoomed out, just like this, so we can fully appreciate it. I tell you what, one of the things they need to do in the next update is allow you to put banners onto platforms. 
Please, Terraria. They need to go onto platforms. Okay. We are ready. I'm very excited for this. It's not going to be too much longer. And then what I'll do is I'll go and do Duke Fishron. Because why not? I mean, we've got a better weapon than we had before. And I feel like I've got a little bit more... Um, well, I've got more defense because I've graded some of my accessories to warding. And that's really been helping out. Okay, here we go. Let's see how quick we can do this. I'm pretty, like, confident about this. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's try and flip it. All right, let's get working on this one. Okay, here's the eyeball. All right, we're going to circle it round. We're not using anything special. No, like, summon or anything like that. Just, like, a classic Moon Lord fight. Nothing crazy. Okay, I wonder how much uh, damage my dragon's doing. Is it keeping me safe? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is good. Always working on that middle eye it takes forever. Okay, let's work on these two outer eyes real quick. All right, that one's getting pretty low, and I don't want it to get completely wiped. This one's getting low as well. Okay, here's the eyeball. Oh, let's loop it round. Oh, man. We are absolutely crushing that top eyeball. So we've got another run on the top eyeball, I believe. Let's turn off that mini-map and let's zoom this in a little bit. Just so you guys can, like, fully appreciate what's going on. Okay. Here we go. Let's keep this looped around. How much longer have we got on that last eyeball? Oh, we actually have one more hit on it. Oh, I need to zoom it out a little bit more, actually. I need to be able to avoid some stuff. Okay, so the outer, the outer, the outer eyeballs are doing alright. They're in a really good spot. Okay, here we go. So if you destroy this eye, it will continue doing the laser. I don't know if you guys knew that. So did we do it then? I'm not exactly sure. It's closed its eye. Has it closed it for good? I'm going to have to wait another second and see. I don't feel like I did it. There we go. Yeah, I was, I was right. I didn't do it. Cutting it close, though. Oh, there you go. Right. So there's that eyeball. And there's this one. Okay, and this is now the core, and I believe I can keep a pretty good distance on the core. Just need to avoid whatever comes my way. Okay, and we've got plenty of room as well to actually maneuver on this track. It's a pretty long track. I'm trying to tank a lot of the damage, in all honesty. I'm just shooting away. This is literally my first Moon Lord overhaul kill. And also, my very first Ranger Moon Lord kill, which is so sick. This is actually such an awesome setup. I'm going to use this in vanilla more often, honestly, because this is really good. Okay, there we go. I feel like the dragon probably didn't help with some of that damage, but wow. We absolutely smashed it. So cool. There we go. Oh, I got a Star Wraith. Nice. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, okay. They change weapons so much. And this one is, uh, it's definitely had a bit of a nerf. And there we go. Guys, that is it. That is the Moon Lord complete. I'm so proud of us. But before we end today's video, we do have to go and do Duke Fishron just so that I've knocked it off the list. And then out of every boss, every main boss at least, I've done every single one in this five part series that really should have been more of a series than it is. <laughs> I'm so proud. Let's get rid of some of these because we won't be needing them. And maybe I'll come back. Maybe I'll come back and farm for the full set of armor one day. I think that'd be very cool. So I'm going to grab my truffle worm. And I might actually speak to this dude right here. Severus. Let's have a little chat. You absolute snake. Okay. Let's get a dungeon teleportation potion. Oh. I tell you what, they actually have all of the NPCs that they need this time. That's really strange. I was having a, such a strange bug with that. Okay. Potions are a gonna. Let's try and fish. We should probably zoom out for this as well. Oh, a star scout. Okay, buff up. Here we go. Let's see how we do with a little bit of extra uh, firing power. Oh god, now we've got an event as well. Yeah, this is a lot easier with this uh, weapon. Even when we you were using a shotgun, even though it was like auto-firing or whatever, you know, homing in, sorry, with the glorified bullets, 
the damage just does not compare. Okay, we're into the third phase now. This is always my uh, my worst boss fight. I feel like a lot of people know that already, but damn. Okay, okay, and is this done? There we go. Right, awesome. What did I get? I got a Tempest Staff. Nice. I'm pretty happy with the Tempest Staff. I can get myself some Shark Nados. All right, well, that is going to do it for my Terraria Overhaul mini-series. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you do want to keep up to date with all the latest Terraria stuff, maybe consider clicking that subscribe button. We're trying to hit half a million subscribers before the launch of Terraria 1.3.6, and I would love for you to help me out with that. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll also leave a playlist link down below if you want to check out some of the other ones. And, uh, yeah, this this event has got nothing on us now. We are We are overly powerful. Right, see you all in the next one, guys. Peace.